want to thank you for your leadership and support in general, but also in making this program happen um, today. Um, I also want to thank uh, the new and the returning uh, public members of the Open Government Advisory Group. It's an incredible thing uh, that DC, all, the, all DC had to do was ask. And uh, the three of you and everybody who couldn't be here today said, heck yes, like, when, where do I show up? Uh, make our shared home a better place. Um, everybody should go and Google all these people immediately. We have, have world-renowned experts in open data, open government, civil rights, um, and community-based activism and, and, and um, professional development all in one place, all to think about not just how to make open data big in the district, but how to make it make real change for everybody. Um, I think there are a couple things implicit in the mayor's points uh, to just call out. I think the first is knowledge is power, power, and we need to use government to share that power uh, equitably across the district. Um, and the second is that government itself is more effective, uh, more innovative, and just generally gooder uh, when we share our knowledge with district residents, when we pool the knowledge that we have with the residents of the district. So today's announcement builds off the work that the government and the community have been doing for the last, I don't know, the better part of a decade, depending on how you want to count it, to, um, to articulate what a truly open DC would look like. Uh, and the policy, as uh, the draft stands, is uh, rooted in that, in that collective wisdom, if we've done our job right, uh, of uh, DC's open government and civic hacking communities. The Mayor highlighted a few of the key proposed planks of this policy, a strong CDO role, uh, regional coordination, and the reestablishment re of the advisory group. Um, but there's also a promise here to bring open data practices to policy making itself. Over the next month, we need the help of all eight wards making this policy as effective, as understandable, and as exciting as possible. Um, I also want to thank uh, the OpenGov Foundation, who have stepped to the plate as our um, community partners in building the new website that we're using to collect feedback from the public. Uh, you can open your phones, or when you get back to your desks or back to your places of residence, you can pull up draftdrafts.dc.gov, which is a new website that uses OpenGov Foundation's Madison platform. Um, this platform enables you to provide your comments, register your support or your dissent from the policy overall. Uh, and it also allows people to talk to each other and engage in conversation about what this policy should be. Um, so let's get down to brass tacks. The draft policy will be up on drafts.dc.gov for the next four weeks. Um, so please do make sure to send in comments or talk with each other or engage with the government uh, before February 15th. You can do this in several ways. One is you can use drafts.dc.gov. You can comment, annotate, and discuss there. You can also email any thoughts you might have to open at dc.gov. You can tweet your comments to Octo, at OctoDC, uh, and you can also use the hashtag OpenDataDC uh, to talk with one another. Uh, and finally, if you prefer, you can mail your comments uh, to uh, care of Octo, care of Open Data Policy at 200 I Street Southeast, Suite 500. That's here. Um, last but not least, we'll be announcing opportunities to engage directly in person at real life events. Uh, over the next several weeks, uh, so you can keep your ears tuned for that. So after we've received everyone's comments, we will revise the policy transparently, talking about what's possible, what's not possible, trying to synthesize between conflicting comments or different comments we may have received, um, and communicate the why behind the changes that we're making. Then we'll post the final copy to the DC Register, register and the magic will start. So uh, in closing, I would say the really exciting thing about this policy, at least as it stands right now, is that it will continue to be updated going forward. Um, I think there's a sense that, first of all, it's certainly not perfect as it stands, and also that the open data conversation itself is evolving over time and should be an experiment. Um, so over the next year, we'll solicit more feedback and then revise the policy at that point, and then the year after that, and the year after that. Uh, in closing, I want to say that this is just the beginning. It's the beginning of DC government and DC residents teaching each other what a truly open and collaborative government looks like. And we're incredibly excited to create that future together. Thank you. And I should say, I have a website to give out too. It's called, well, and somebody correct me if I get it wrong, mayor.dc.gov backslash accountability. Where, where are you going to find, what are you when you go, when you go there? 
Anybody, anybody, anybody? I'll tell you. Uh, it is our first year report. Uh, we promised and we revealed last night uh, to our transition committee uh, a year ago or a year or so ago when we were building the government, uh, I invited 300 Washingtonians to join me on a transition committee to focus on about five dish different issue areas. Um, one of them uh, was, was good government, and so I, I hope that those transition committee members, I see Adam here, uh, will find a lot of your recommendations in uh, this draft policy. Um, but for all of the different two areas, we have uh, given an update on where on where we are with them, the things that have been completed in the year one, launched, uh, things that, and even some things that we've we've reconsidered, and we're very pleased with the progress that, that we've made uh, in this first year. So mayor.dc.gov slash accountability. Uh, so I'm happy to answer any questions, if they're press questions or the community questions, staff questions. Yeah, I want to hear you say your last name again. Okay, okay. <laughs> not, not right now. <laughs> Vima, I'll get it. I'll get it. Or I just call her director. I think she'll she'll like that. Okay. Thank you, everybody. Everybody.